The Ontario Home Care and Long-Term Care Systems offer crucial support for seniors with special needs and disabilities, but it is not without its issues. Local senior Pearl Cameron has been through the system and felt the need for change. She realized in that care that she, she was not being treated as an individual in a way that she felt was the delivery of care with dignity. I needed help and I called upon the MPP and he did set up a meeting, listened to me and I put everything on the table and I wanted him to know that even though we're a wonderful town, we have deep problems. Pearl wanted to be sure the delivery method met the needs of seniors with compassion, dignity and respect. And the problems are on many levels. Hours being cut from people who need those hours. And for example, there's one lady, she doesn't have a left leg. She used to get two hours. She's incontinent. Now they've cut it to one hour. I would love to see the PSWs being trained properly. I would love to see PSWs making a living wage. When the system doesn't meet the need of a family member who's at home, and in a, re a sense of reality, when I'm about to leave to go to work at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning or 9 o'clock in the morning, and a call comes in 15 minutes before my mom is to receive care, and the caller says, I'm sorry, we can't deliver the care now, but we can get to you in a couple hours. What is that doing to the family member's ability to get to work? Is that having an impact on the economy, therefore, I would say yes. Is it causing the senior stress? A vision impaired senior? Am I going to say to my mom, by the way, the worker that's coming to you in two hours is not the worker that usually comes to you, so you as somebody who is low vision or blind should feel perfectly comfortable opening the door to a total stranger who you don't know, by the way, and then you have to train them on what you're going to need in the delivery of your care because I can't be here to do that. These concerns and Pearl's personal experiences prompted her to arrange a public forum at Oakville Town Hall, giving seniors the opportunity to discuss issues they face in the system with six carefully chosen panelists from various facets of the healthcare system. I wanted it to be people who can really put a spotlight on what's happening. And there's so many wrong things out there that it, it was just hard work, but the one panelist who um, stuck who with me uh, was CNIB. They, they really held on, and I was uh, glad he was able to make it today. A synopsis of the forum will be provided to the Ontario Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care in hopes that the discussion can initiate the necessary changes to ensure seniors' fundamental rights and privileges are being met. I think that we've had a very successful afternoon. Now, it's how we build it after is where the success, in fact, will come. If you younger people don't take part, you're not going to get the service when you reach our age. So it's up to you all. Help us. We need help. There's seniors in poverty who need help. And we've got to help them. If you would like more information about the event and the issues discussed therein, email seniorsforum at bell.net. For Halton Insider, I'm James Spaulding.